What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So I've been getting the question a lot inside of my course, um, specifically in the forums and uh, also on our live calls of how to create roads inside of SketchUp. And this is kind of a tricky area because you're working on terrain and so it's not as simple as just drawing a line and then extruding a box. So in this video we're going to talk about an extension that really helps you quickly create roads in SketchUp. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So one thing I would say it's important to kind of delineate between is there's a big difference between drawing a road on a surface. So let's say that we wanted to create this road right here that follows along with the terrain I downloaded um, from the location services. There's a big difference between that and um, actually doing like any kind of grading, right? In this video, we're gonna focus on modeling the road that runs along the terrain. If we wanna talk about grading, that's gonna be a little bit more complex. We can get into it, but we're not gonna get into it in this video. And so in today's video, we're gonna focus on using the extension Instant Road from Valley Architects. So Instant Road is an extension specifically designed to help you uh, create roads from faces and also edges that you draw inside of SketchUp. So it really kind of simplifies this whole process. Um, note that you can either get this for a yearly subscription of $38, or you can get the entire Valley Architects suite, which I will link to in the notes down below. Um, I think it's like $118 a year, which is like $10 a month, a little less than $10 a month. It has a fantastic set of tools um, for working in SketchUp with cladding and doors and windows and everything like that. So we're specifically gonna focus on the instant road in this video. And so what I've done is I've brought in the location terrain that comes in for this Castle Rock area right here in Colorado. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna duplicate the terrain because what I don't wanna do is I don't wanna wreck the terrain that I've already brought in just in case I need it for anything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump into my outliner. I'm gonna find the terrain. Notice how it's locked right now. So we just wanna right click on it we want to unlock it. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to do a control C and then I'm going to lock this terrain again. And then I'm going to do an edit paste in place. And so what that's done is that's created a new terrain group right here. And so the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock this and toggle it off and then lock it again um, because I don't want my terrain to actually be showing up in here. So now I've got my new editable terrain and you could even rename it for edit in your outliner just to keep you clear on what you're doing. And so what we wanna do in this situation is first off, I wanna to toggle my flat terrain on, right? So notice how when I toggle my flat terrain on, that gives me a completely flat view of the surface. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by drawing a path along this road um, that I can use in order to um, actually create my road. So what I wanna do is I wanna find the center point of this road like this, I'm just gonna draw an arc right here. We'll draw a line right here. And just be careful that you're drawing on the face. Um, sometimes the inferencing gets a little bit funky when you do this, but we're just gonna find the center of the road. And we're just gonna draw a path all the way along the road. All right, so what we've done is we've modeled a path for our road. I'm gonna go ahead and take that path and I'm gonna move it up so that it's gonna sit above my terrain like this. So now we've got that path created and we've also got our location on here. And so if I click on this, notice how it's toggling my location terrain on right here. Well, now we need to load up the extension. So I'm gonna open up Instant Road right here. One thing I would recommend before you do anything else with this is I would seriously recommend saving um, before you take any of these additional steps. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move this down just a bit so it's a little closer to my surface right here. Well now, notice I have multiple different options in here for different kinds of roads that you can create. So for example, you've got road from center line or you've got road from faces. So the road from center line is gonna take the line and it's gonna build a road outward by a certain width, while the road from faces is basically gonna allow you to draw a face inside of SketchUp and then it'll use that to create your road. So for now, we're just gonna use the center line function. So if you click on this, notice what it's gonna do is it's gonna tell you to select a group, right? The group is going to be your path. So I'm just gonna triple click on this, right click and we're gonna make it a group. So now, if we click on this again, Notice how it's gonna give us some options. And at the moment, it's still not gonna do anything, right? 
So what it's doing is it's basically looking for a road group and it's looking for a terrain group and we've only selected the road. So you want to make sure when you do this that you have both of these selected. But if we click on these drop downs, notice how there's options in here for paths and water and roads. We're going to focus on the road for right now. But then you can also set this to add different kinds of roads. So notice how you've got lists of roads with curbs, roads with walks, um, other things like that. So different widths, basically a bunch of different kinds of roads. In this case, let's go ahead and let's go with the road 36 FT, so 36 feet. So we're going to click on that. Notice how it's going to give us some options in here for quantity takeoff, previews, other things like that. We're not going to worry too much about those for right now. And then there's also some additional parameters that you can use in order to set things like the thickness of your road, the width, um, all of those things that allow you to kind of customize these. For now, we're going to leave this as is. Notice how you have the option to toggle things like curb on and off. But now what I want to do, because I have my curve selected, I have my surface selected, so I'm going to click on the option for make road. Notice how in this case it gives me an error again. Sometimes it's better if you just take this and right click and explode it. So then you've got your road group and you've got a raw surface in here. This is another reason why um, it can be better to make your own surface in here for editing. But now if I click on make road, it's going to drop that road down and it's going to create a road right here. And notice how it's still working at the moment. So that this can take a little while depending on the complexity of your surface. That's another reason why it's good to save before you do this. But when it's done, it's going to give you a little area right here. Um, it's going to give you a cubic yardage um, of import. So it's basically saying if you were to create this profile on this surface, this is the cubic yardage of dirt you would need in order to do that. It also gives you the surface area of the road. But if we go down and look at this, you can see that what this did is this basically created a road area and then it created a graded surface around the outside of that as well. So basically what it does is it grades this in here. And so if you click on this, notice how it came in here and it actually like graded the surface to match your road um, inside of SketchUp. So what it's done is it's really it's really quickly and easily created this road surface along your terrain right here. Notice how you get um, grading on both the top side here and the bottom side here as well. So creating this road is actually really easy using this tool right here. And so let's say we wanted to do this the other way and create a road from faces. So let's go ahead and toggle our terrain off real quick. And notice how this road very clearly does follow the terrain that's in here. But let's say that we wanted to create maybe a road over here that has a cul-de-sac, so something like this. So what I would do is I would start by drawing it flat like this. And then I would just model out my road. Then take this whole thing and again I'm just going to move it up so that I can see it when I toggle my terrain on but we would do the same thing. So we would take this whole thing and again always make sure that you save before you do this but we would take this surface that we've created right here. We would select the surface down below by doing a shift click then you can just click on the option for road from faces. And actually remember that we do need to make this a group before we do that but then you can do the road by faces. And again, you can set the same style you have in here before. So for example, you can set if it puts like a walk on the two sides. So let's go ahead and select that option. But then you can click on the option for make road. And notice one thing about this is it's not liking the way the surface is in here. It needs to be an unbroken line. So instead of having this be a curve right here, I'm just going to draw a line across this surface. And then we'll try it again. And so again, you can see that what this does is this takes this surface and it drops it in here. Notice how because we drew a line across here, it's actually drawing this cul-de-sac as like a flat area. And it talks a little bit more about that in the documentation for Instant Road, which I can link to in the notes down below. This comes along with the extension. But you can see how adding that cul-de-sac in here with the walks on the side was really easy. So this really does simplify the process of creating roads inside of SketchUp. All right, so in addition, you can also draw a line like this one. And I actually used uh, the extension tools on surface to draw the line because if you look at the hidden geometry in here um, on your road, it's not like a flat surface, right? So tools on surface is really probably a better tool for doing this. But basically the way that it works is you create a line 
and you put it in a group so like this and then you do a shift click on your road so you've selected your road group and your line group and you can use this in order to quickly add striping in here and so you can select the kind of striping that you want in here. For me, I just put it on a simple like one line around the middle. I, I got some error messages with more edges in here. I think it probably has to do with my road width, but um, if I select this edge in this surface, yeah, notice how you can set, set different things about the, um, you can set different things about the striping that you're putting on there. But then if I click on the button for make striping, what it's gonna do is it's gonna drop this down. It's actually gonna add striping to my road based on that line that I drew. And so let's go ahead and try that with this surface right here. So um, I'm not gonna do the whole thing because that would be time consuming. So what we're gonna do instead is we'll just use tools on surface to just draw a line here. Then we'll draw an arc, a little bit more of an arc. So then I'm gonna move that up above my road right here. And I'm just gonna put it in a group. So I'm just gonna right click make it a group, then we'll select our road group and our lines like this. And so again, I'm just gonna go to the one lane style right here with one line, with one line and click on the button for make striping. That's gonna drape this down onto that surface. And again, I'm having some weird issues with the multiple, um, the multiple line surface in here, but notice how this came in here and this really easily added those stripes onto our surface just like this. And notice how they get placed in here as a group. So you can kind of like move them around or mess with them or do whatever it is you want to do. And so there's other tools in here as well. So things like adding road markings, which I'm not going to get too far into right now. Um, but notice how there's also tools in here to adjust your road height. And note that you probably want to get your road height set before you do any striping. But let's say that we did want to adjust the road height in here. We could just click on the option for adjust road height. So I'm gonna start by selecting my road group, clicking on this button right here, and notice how it's going to give me the option to set a max curve length, um, other things like that. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this as is, but notice how I can click on my road, right? So let's say we wanted to bring this up. I can click, then move my mouse. So notice when I do that, that's gonna come in here and that's gonna adjust my road. And the cool thing about that is, notice how not only did the road adjust, also the sloping up to the road adjusted along with it. And so let's say we wanted to adjust that from a little bit wider radius. What you could do is you can come in here and you could click on this right here. We're gonna go ahead and click on okay, but notice how you can type in a value here to adjust the radius of the area that you're going to affect. So in this case, if I type in 500 feet, then hit the enter key, notice how my circle gets a lot bigger. Well then if I single click, move my mouse like this, it's gonna take longer, obviously, but notice how my whole road inside of that uh, 500 foot area gets adjusted. So you can see I can use this in order to quickly move those roads up and down um, using Instant Road. So again, just a reminder that this is a question from a student in the SketchUp Essentials course. So the SketchUp Essentials course is my detailed in-depth course where you can go to learn SketchUp. It's got a ton of instruction in there as well as a community forum and we have live calls where you can get on the calls and actually ask your questions. This question came out of one of those live calls. So if you're interested in that, you want a little bit more help with SketchUp, you can check that out at the SketchUp Essentials course. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.